Okay, so good morning to each and everyone, no? Good morning nga ba? Good morning. Um, umaga ko kasi ito nire-record eh. But by the way, we must, na- we must need to talk all about microorganisms. So, one of our objectives sa uh, um, discussion natin within this time, no? Is we must need to determine their characteristics, their beneficial and then harmful effects ng several microorganisms na itatakal natin, which are the fungi, um, bacteria, at saka uh, protists. Yon. And then at the same time, we must need to encounter several characteristics din ng tinatawag natin na viruses. Diba? And their, and their distinctive characteristics no? within the criteria of life. Okay. So at this time, no, ito na nga siya. Um, mag- mag-focus muna tayo sa, um, sa unang microorganism no? which is sa fungi. Um, so um, yung nakikita ninyo hindi naman siya literally microorganism but isa siyang example ng fungi which are the micro um, which are the example lang din naman kapag minagnify mo naman siya sa microscope um, madetermine naman natin yung characteristics niya sa microorganism diba? but yung fungi ay eh, na nga siya, isa siya yung nakikita nyo example no, is a mushroom diba? Diba? and then Um, in fungi, one of the characteristics ng fungi, no? fungi do not have true roots, stems, and then leaves. Kung nakita nyo naman sa image. And then, they also lack chlorophyll. No? Kaya hindi, hindi naman talaga sila makakapag-perform ng photosynthesis. Dahil yung chlorophyll pigment na yan is a green, green pigment no? para makapag-perform sila ng tinatawag na photosynthesis which can manufacture and create their own food. And then, they are heterotropic. No? which can obtain food from dead or decaying materials no or decomposition of living things no and then they are protected no by a cell cell wall made up of chitin and then polysaccharide so yung cell wall ng um, ng isang fungi ay tinatawag natin na chitin di ba and then we must need to elaborate all about her- heterotropic no So ano nga ba ang ibig sabihin ng heterotropic or heterotrops no? A, a heterotrops is an heterotrop is an organism that cannot manufacture its own food. Yun nga, ganun na nga, nandoon na rin yung ano. Yun na nga yung meaning niya, nandoon na rin sa ating presentation. And the next, they produces spores no for reproduction. And then the fungi and plants have a similar characteristics just like stem like and then fruit like parts pero katulad ng sinabi dito wala naman silang um, they they do not have their true roots stem sa chalips no and then examples are mushrooms molds at saka yeast di ba and then next um, one of the beneficial effects of fungi in other organisms no they play a big role in decomposition of dead materials And also in organic waste, then um, wood ear mushroom or auricularia polytrica, um, yun niya, pakicorrect na lang ako kung ano yung pinaka um, pronunciation ng uh, mismong species. But by the way, kung ma-encounter ninyo, ganyan po yung pagsulat no, ng scientific name, just like yung meadow mushroom or agaricus com- campestris, ganyan yun. Dapat, ma- um, dapat mas malaki yung mismong um, yung mismong unang letter dun sa scientific name na yun and then the rest um, dapat small letter na lang siya and then dapat lahat italicized no? are used as food ingredients then yan yung mga tinatawag natin na edible mushroom or pwede natin i-intake or kainin but somehow or yun nga pwede rin kainin pwede gamitin in some other particular purposes but yun niya, edible, mas safe siya. And then, another beneficial effects ng fungi, no? Um, yeast are used for the process of fermentation in beverage production. And then, common green mold, just like penicillium notatum, has a medicinal value and can be made into antibiotics just such as penicillin, na una na discovered ni Alexander Fleming. Yan yun, yan yung yeast at saka penicillium na na, no tatum, no? 
Kaya uh, mali lang ako ng pagkakalagay. The next, um, one of the harmful effects ng fungi, no? they are fungis, fungi which may cause spoilage of food such as black bread mold, kung nakikita nyo naman dyan. Kaya may mga tinapay din na madali kagad mapanis, no? Kasi hindi natin to um, nakain kagad, di ba? And then they are also pathogenic or this is causing fungi. Yun, yun yung ibig sabihin ng pathogens or tinatawag natin na mga bad organisms na maaaring maka-apekto sa ating katawan which may cause at least foot, ringworms, and then scalp infection kung nakikita nyo naman dyan. Then um, next, characteristics of protist. No? Um, protist naman tayo. They are considered eukaryotic and may be in form of unicellular filamentous or colony, di ba? Um, some protists are autotropic, no? Or can make their own food. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng autotrophs, no? While some are heterotropic naman, which cannot create their own food. Then, one of the example ng um, um, protist is like yung ciliates, no? Which are the free living and then matatagpon siya sa mga fresh water. Diba? It moves with the help of numerous hair-like cilia. Yung hair-like cilia na yun, um, makikita natin siya sa paligid, no? sa labas ng mismong um, ciliate. Yung nandun sa may portion na sa labas. And then, one of the example of that is yung paramecium. Then next, yung sarcodina. It, it can change shape constantly because of flexible cell membrane. Pwede siya maging star, pwede siya maging triangle, pwede siya maging circle, depende sa trip niya. It moves by extending finger-like projections called pseudopodia or pseudopods. Just like a false feet, yun yung ibig sabihin nun. And then it is a free living in fresh water and also in the sea. Just like for example yung mga amoeba. Amoeba! Then, um, medyo pumalik tayo. And then next, flagellate, no? moves with the help one or more thread like flagella no meron siyang puntot no some of them are free living and some of them are parasites just like for example yung euglena ganyan ang itsura ng euglena then yung sporozoans um they are the parasite protist no it produces a spore that can be passed from one host to another so it is a parasitic organism no nakakapeste, di ba? Just like for example, yung plasmodium falciparum na nakakapagkos no, ng sakit na malaria. And then, al- in algal groups, no, they are the photosynthetic protist, no, It contains chlorophyll, which contains green pigment, fucosantin, brown pigment, picoeritin, yan yung red pigment, carotene, orange pigment, but in some other references, na iko- nakakategorize siya na minsan may pagka- yellow orange or somewhat pero it is mainly focused dun sa orange pigment talaga but in santofil yellow pigment na yan di tayo mag-focus sa mga base sa mga reference na nandiyan then one of the beneficial effects ng protist no they are types of algae which are edible and good sources of vitamins and minerals no and then protist can also play an important role in nutrient recycling in some are economically useful as well It's like yung, yan nga, no? yung green algae. Ay, may, mamaya may ma- ma-encounter tayo na isang, hindi naman siya um, isang uri ng algae. Hindi naman, hindi naman siya isang klase ng protis, but isa siyang uri ng bakteriya. Basta mamaya, <laughs> medyo inaano ko lang kayo, ni-spoil ko lang kayo <laughs> dun sa mga susunod nating lesson. And then, ay, susunod nating presentation. Then, one of the harmful effects of protis, no? Um, they are parasitic which may bring harm to other living organisms. Just like Plasmodium parasiparum, yun niya, malaria, kakasabi ko lang. Trypanosoma gambiense, just like yung Gambian sleeping sickness, which causes increasing physical weakness and mental depression which may lead to death. No, sobrang delikado. And then most ciliates and sarcodina are parasites of animals and especially for humans. Then... One of the characteristics naman sa bacteria naman tayo, nasa bacteria na tayo, they are unicellular microorganisms which protected by very strong cell, w- cell wall made up of peptidoglycan. They may live sing- um, in singly or single or in colonies or batalyon yung kasama niya. And then, 
Um, by the way, I just want to introduce you one of the basic classification of bacteria, no? According to the um, shape na ng isang cell, yan ko nakita niyo yung yan yung round shape, which is yung cocci, rod shape, no? Bacilli, and then spiral shape or yung spirilla. Yan ganyan sila, no? Yan yung bacilli, rod shape, ayan. And then round shape, cocci, and then spirilla. Spirilli, spir yung na spiral ano siya, bacteria. Then next, cyanobacteria is one group of uh, bacteria are that are considered photosynthetic, which contains chlorophyll, no, that can be manufactured their own food. They are considered as nitrogen fixers, which can convert nitrogen into usable forms for other living organisms. So ayan po siya. Then, yan po yung isang halimbawa na cyanobacteria. Ayan. And then, um, medyo nagpapatugtog yung ating um, kapitbahay din sa kalsada. Pero tingin ko, dadaan lang naman yan. And one of the beneficial effects ng bacteria, no, is many bacteria have an ecological, economical, and medical uses. Just like yung blue or green algae are good source of food, biofuels, biofertilizers, proteins, and vitamins. Um, some bacteria have bioactive compounds with antiviral, antifungal, and then anti-cancer or yun nga para maiwasan yung mga carcinogenic um, potentialities, ganyan. And then, there are also identified bacteria no, that can clean oil spills and rehabilitate environmental polluted environments. Sabi, sa madaling sabi, they are the good bacteria, di ba? And then, some bacteria are the composers that break down complex organic compounds into usable inorganic simple substances na convert from complex into simple substance only and then lactobacillus no lactobacillus which can be found in the intestines of the humans no this bacterium aids in the process of digestion this bacterium aids um yun na nga yun na rin yun medyo naging repetitive lang yung ano niya And then some bacteria are also used in medicine and industry fields through genetic engineering which uh, were products like enzymes, hormones like insulin, vaccines, blood proteins, antibiotics and more are produced. And then yan yung itsura ng lactobacillus. Alam ko, alam niya naman siya. And then next, uh, medyo marami tayong beneficial effects ah, but meron na Malapit tayo sa harmful effects but in beneficial effects, in agriculture, they are used in the development of disease-resistant crops, production of better quality livestock, and improved variety of plant crops. They also play a big role in the process of fermentation in producing their products and even brewing alcoholic beverages. No? And what about the harmful effects? No? na maaaring makapekto sa tao, sa halaman, at pati na rin sa mga hayop, di ba? Some may cause food spoilage, while some of them are considered pathogenic, which may cause serious diseases to other living organisms. Just like ito, itong mga ito, um, yung E. coli or Escherichia coli, no? or E. coli na nga, no? i-considered natin na ganun. Um, the, um, this may lead to UTI, Streptococcus pyogenes, which may lead to sore throat and upper respiratory tract infection. And then, Neisseria gonorrhea may lead to gonorrhea. No? Ano nga ba ibig sabihin ng gonorrhea? No? It is an infection caused by sexually transmitted bacterium that infects both males and females. No? Gonorrhea most often affects the urethra, rectum, or throat. No? And then, yun nga, through the means of sexually transmitted Um, incidences. And then in female, gonorrhea can also infect the cervix. Gonorrhea is the most commonly spread during vaginal or oral or anal sex union. Maaari ka makakuha ng gantong klaseng um, um, sakit. No? And then, diplococcus pneumonia, sa pneumonia nga yan. And then next, mycobacterium tuberculosis, which may cause tuberculosis. And then, nandito na nga tayo sa last part ng ating lesson, no, which are the viruses, no. So ano nga ba yung mga viruses, no? Yung virus, no, it is an obligate intracellular parasite that multiply inside bacteria by making use of some or all of the host by synthetic machinery. 
used as a model for animal cell virus and as a gene, tra gene transfer in the bacteria. Kung nakikita nyo dito, no? isa itong halimbawa ng bacteriophage. Yung bacteriophage, isa to sa basic example na ginagamit or basic model na ginagamit din no? for some kinds of viruses, di ba? Mamaya may encounter nyo yung mga examples ng viruses. So, yun po yung structure ng bacteria patch, no? One of the, um, siguro magbibigay lang ako ng tatlong part, no? Ng structure ng bacteria patch. And I will give several functions of that. Unahin natin yung capsid. Capsid or yung head. No, capsid is a protein coat that makes up most of the a viruses and gives it shape, no? Ayan nga, nakikita nyo naman. Na parang crystal, di ba? And then, na-surround lang siya into a protein coat. And then, nucleic acid, it is genetic information. Yun nga, alam naman natin yun. Para uh, mamaya makikita nyo kung paano nakapag-spread ng genetic information yung isang viruses or yung bacteriophage together with um, with an intact, together with a microorgan, together with other kinds of organism na maaaring madali yung hayop or yung tao. And then, base plate, no, yun nasa pinakababa. Um, it is used for transmission undergo pinning, tail contraction and penetration up to DNA injection. Doon na magla-land up no, para makapag, para bumaba doon yung genetic information at pumasok doon sa iniintang niyang organism. Diba? And then yan na nga yung process. No? Magsisimula sa pag-landing, no? maghanap siya ng location kung saan siya pa rin bumaba. Diba? Pero alam ko yung mga yan hindi na namimili yan. Delikado yung pag talagang nag-land. Um, yun na nga, nandun na nga siya sa, ano natin, sa ating body. Landing, pinning, pinauna yung kanyang mga spikes, no? With, con with a contact, no? Dun sa, um, sa human body or sa animal body or kung ano man yung organism yun. And then, dun na nga mag-start yung tail contraction and penetration to spread several genetic information hanggang sa dumating na nga yung DNA injection. Ayan na nga siya. Um, malapit na tayo matapos, no? <laughs> so, one of the characteristics ng viruses, no? Viruses are considered as the borderline between living things and non-living things, di ba? They are not capable of maintaining a living condition. Neither can assemble and aggregate to form a higher level of biological organization. They exhibit both living and non-living characteristics. Some of the note no that some of the important living characteristics that a virus is inside the living organisms, which is considered as their host. So yun ang asha. And then one of the example ng viruses yun yah yung HIV, hepatitis B. Ebola virus, adenovirus, influenza, yung rabies, bacteriophage, papilo, papilloma virus, rotavirus, and then herpes virus. Idagdag na rin natin yung coronavirus na nararanasan natin ngayon. And then, um, ito na nga yung karakter, um, aspects of comparison within the living, living and non-living characteristics of viruses in terms of criteria of life. In cellular composition, wala naman siya sa living characteristics but in non-living characteristics, they are non-cellular made up of nucleic acids and then protein. Nucleic acids and then protein, they are the macromolecules or the mac biomolecules na ma-encounter natin sa mga susunod nating lesson. Not now but sooner or later. And then in levels of organization, sa living characteristics, wala. Katulad na na-mention natin dun sa um, previous slide. And then... In the living characteristics naman, in levels of organization, the compound level, no, or not capable of higher level of organization. Hindi niya kaya yun. And then, in chemical composition, uh, focus na lang tayo sa living characteristics, no, hanggang maintenance of internal homeostasis. Kapag sinabi natin chemical composition sa living characteristics, they are mostly organic compounds. In terms of reproduction, they can reproduce inside the living host. Then in evolution, obviously they can evolve, no? In a, in a, during um during times, no? Mag-evolve at mag-evolve siya. And then na na baka sakali makaapekto pa lalo sa ating katawan. And then or sa ating human body or sa other organismal bodies, di ba? In terms of respiration can respire, no? Utilizing the host environment as a source of energy. 
di ba siya kumukuha ng lakas and then maintenance of internal homeostasis or yung balance eh, ng mismong environment dun sa loob it can maintain balance inside the host no? and then in terms of growth wala naman siya sa living characteristics but in non-living characteristics hindi sila nag increase in sizes ganun pa rin sila so yun na lamang po if ever man may mga questions kayo leave a comment below and then um I hope you enjoy this kind of um, topic no, about, all about microorganisms and then new viruses within this day. No? Okay, so that's all for today. Goodbye.